Hello out there, Wargamers. Uh, did a battle with uh, a friend of mine for Heavy Gear Arena tonight. This was our first game. And after fumbling with the rules for a little while, we finally got most of the game down. He won. His dice rolled a lot better than mine. Also, the, uh, the starter game here for the rulebook apparently doesn't have everything in it you need to play. We, uh, ran into several situations where we couldn't figure out what a rule meant, what we were supposed to be doing, so we went to the internet. Now, this is not a bash on DreamPod 9 or anything to do with Heavy Gear Arena. The minis are nice, the scale is nice, um, the artwork on the box is beautiful, the rules are nice, but, uh, I guess I'm going to have to bash them a little bit. The rulebook here is missing some basic information. I don't know if they thought that uh, people that would play Heavy Gear Arena had played their Blitz game, which I think uses the same rule system. I haven't played that one yet. Um, but at any rate, we went to the handy dandy internet, which you really I don't know how well that's going to turn up, but looked at the quick start rules. The rule right here about number of dice equal to gunnery skill for ranged attacks was not in the book. It was... I, di I didn't find it anywhere in there. My buddy read the book. He didn't find it anywhere in there. But the quick start rules seem to have explained that. There's also some errata that's come out that's mainly dealing with the campaign. Um, if you start a, a guy from uh, you know day one, basic gear, and then you upgrade him. Uh, it's played on a two by two table, which pretty much means the table that my minis and my teacup and that sort of stuff were sitting on would be about the right size. It need to be a little bit bigger, but it'd be about the right size, so you don't have to worry about lugging around a lot of table or a lot of terrain. They've got paper foam cutout or paper printouts you can cut out for the terrain to you know that's free. Excuse me. There's a lot of free stuff that goes with this game. I, I find it to be a good game, and hopefully I'll get a better understanding of it. Maybe even put up a battle report at some point of basically how to do the game. Um, tell you what, if y'all are interested in seeing a battle report about that, let me know, and I will try to get one up within the next... Eh, just let me know. Just, just put a comment down below and tell me whether or not you want to be uh, to have to watch a battle report of how to play this game. It'll be a little while just so I can get a basic understanding of the game as well. At any rate, um, that's the Heavy Gear update. Uh, you can see the <clears throat> the Jagger here that I've been working on a little bit. He's got some paint on him. I know he's not going to show up really good in the camera here, but I'll take a couple still picks and throw those up for you to let you see those. Um, the rest are still black primer. I'm still having a problem. I wanted to kit him out the way that they are in the Hired Guns book, um, just so that you that I could use that as my starting point. I wouldn't have to worry about all the mods and everything else. Everything's on that little sheet that's in the in the back of these books here, like this one. I don't know how good that shows up. Um, but at any rate, I still can't get everything to fit on these minis, but I'm working on that. Uh, one guy had put up a magnetization video. His name I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, he's in my subscribers. One of the very... He's got six videos. Go check him out. Actually, give me just a minute. I'll, I'll find him his name out for you. All right. Uh, found his name. It is Matt... Mata, uh, Mata O, zero six six one. Uh, he sent me a message about him doing his heavy gears with the magnets, and they did turn out pretty good. Um, that's M A T A O, and then zero six six one. All right, folks. As always, we will game again.